Hey everybody, it's RVA Hiker Girl, and today I am up in Northern West Virginia. Not Virginia where I live, but the state of West Virginia. I'm at Black Waterfall State Park, and I cannot wait to show you the best hikes to do at this state park. It is beautiful here. Can you hear that roaring water? That's Black Waterfall, so I'm gonna take you down, show you the falls, show you some amazing overlooks, go on another hike to show you another waterfall. They're all short and sweet, and man, let's get going. I can't wait to show you. All right, back to the trailhead. It's only 0.4 down and back from the trading post here. This is the Black Water Falls trading post. This is the parking lot here. And there's also parking behind me. This is a Thursday, but it's already getting busy. I can only imagine how busy it is on the weekend. All right, time to do another hike here. made it down to the Blackwater River. Man, is that not spectacular? The water is black here and really dark, even though we're way up in the mountains and normally the water's clear, but the hemlock trees dye the water from the tannins. Is that not cool? Third place to check out while you're here, Lindy Point Overlook. It's only 0.8 out and back, and there's only 50 foot of elevation gain, but wait till you see the views. I feel like I'm on sensory overload because the beautiful boulders and rocks 
the mountains, the black river down below, the puffy clouds, the smell of the hemlock trees and the spruce trees. It just doesn't get much better than this. This is a great day. Pendleton Overlook. That is the next place you want to go. There's several different ways to get here. There is a loop trail on all trails. I'll link all of these trails down below. But behind me is a little parking lot at, at the picnic area. So the overlook is just right there. little bit off to the side of the Pendleton Overlook where it is fenced off for that. Walk a little bit further to the side over by the rocks and look at that river view that you get from right here. I mean killer killer views from up here. You can't miss the Elakala Waterfall Trail and the trailhead for this is right next to the lodge which is what that noise is if you can hear it at some of the air conditioning units to the lodge. Anyway, um, all trail says it's 0.8 out and back, so another relatively short trail. And I saw this waterfall from across the gorge, and so now it's gonna be nice to see it up close. I feel like it's Christmas time because I am surrounded by all of these Christmas type evergreen trees the hemlocks, the spruces, the pines. I mean, it's just gorgeous in this forest. I'm not used to these types of trees um, when I'm out hiking. Oh, and I just touched one and it just smells so refreshing. There are so many things to do at this state park. There are 20 miles of trails. There are cabins. I think there were 35 to 40 cabins. There are 50 plus rooms in the lodge. I think there's like 65 tenting and RV sites to stay here. I think you could stay here two nights and do everything there is to do at this park but I wanted to hit the highlights for you. So if you are planning a trip here to this state park, these are the things that you should not miss. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go enjoy the waterfall over here. I appreciate you guys joining me for this one and I'll see you guys on the next video.